climate change now, it's a major factor making it difficult to improve air quality. And scientists are looking at cows, yes, cows, as the role they play in contributing to the greenhouse gases that are warming our planet. So researchers at UC Davis, they estimate a single cow, get this, can produce about 220 pounds of methane a year. But Kenny Choi, well, he went out there and checked things out. He says a pivotal experiment to reduce those harmful gases is happening in our own backyard. When cows munch for lunch, the amount of methane emitted through burps and more harms the planet as a greenhouse gas. Scientists say methane is 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide. She will breathe into the machine and then the machine will capture the, uh, the emissions. UC Davis professor Ermias Kabrab has been leading research on how feed additives like red seaweed can reduce methane emissions from livestock. I, I see that this is a, a way in which we can uh, drastically reduce methane emissions. His latest experiment with his team of animal scientists include adding grape pumice, a byproduct of winemaking, to cow feed. We are looking into some of feed additives that would get us into 80, 90 percent reduction of methane emissions, which was unthinkable about 10 years ago. Yeah, this is nori, wild Atlantic nori. So far, it's the red seaweed that's the most promising. It contains a compound called bromoform that inhibits the production of methane in cow stomachs. <laughs> the first commercial trial in the U.S. took place in 2021 at the Strauss family farm near Tomales Bay. This is kind of a continuation of what I've been working all my life on. Yeah. Founder and CEO Albert Strauss is on a lifelong mission to make his farm carbon neutral, even converting heavy machinery like this front loader to all electric. Results in the UC Davis study on seaweed feed showed a reduction of methane by up to 82 percent. That means the organic milk produced at the farm will have less of an impact on the environment. In the coming months, the farm expects all its dairy cattle to be fed the new seaweed additive when production by Blue Ocean Barns ramps up. This dairy will have an equal or lower carbon footprint than any plant-based dairy alternatives by the end of this year. Using a machine built to mimic what happens in a cow's stomach, Cabrab and animal science researchers in the lab continue to study what else could be used in the fight against climate change, including other additives like almond hulls and more. There's no greater feeling then we we'll actually see all this work being implemented in real world uh, scenarios uh, around the world. It's one move in the right direction to strive for what can be done to reverse the impact of mankind on Mother Nature. I knew that was coming. So researchers at UC Davis, they're also working on trials at a ranch in Montana studying methane emissions from beef cattle. Strauss Creamery hopes to have all 11 of its milk suppliers feed their cattle the seaweed diet and be carbon neutral by the end of the decade.